This course is about how economic ideas go from the economists into the policy world and then into practical action on the ground to change the way the real economy works. Very often we have a course in a history of economics which deals with the ideas, or we have a course on economic policy making which deals with the policy regimes, but very few then go on to trace what happens to those policies when you try to put them into action. That's what we call performativity, getting our economic ideas to perform in the real world. During the course, we have a number of examples of these attempts to make economic ideas perform. One of the places we look at is the attempt to reconstruct European economies after the World War II when they are in a state of devastation. Another place we look at is in the late 1950s, early 1960s in Africa when old colonies became new states. And at that moment, those old colonies thought that they could not only be a new state, but they could have a new economy as well. So we have these examples, Nigeria, Ghana and Sudan, where we can trace the economists involved in trying to create those new economies all the way through the policy making and the ideas that turned into action on the ground. There's two really exciting teaching moments from, uh, on this course, I think. One is where I take the class into the archives in the library and we look at the papers of William Beveridge, who was one of the early directors of the LSE. And he was responsible for creating the document that established the welfare state in Britain after World War II. And we look at all his papers leading up to that moment. Hidden amongst his papers, we have a letter from Keynes. And students experience this wow moment. They hold in their hand the letter that Keynes wrote and signed. And they discover what it means to be a historian. So that's one great moment. The second moment is a little bit more disconcerting for them. I ask students to imagine that they're head of the Russian Planning Bureau in 1918, or they're Che Guevara in 1960, and he was Minister for the Economy. And I say, OK, your task is to reconstruct the economy as a socialist economy. How are you going to do it? And there's a big blank pause. And students suddenly realize how difficult it is to get economic ideas to work on the ground. course is about how difficult it is to turn economic ideas into a policy that works on the ground. So understanding those difficulties is really useful in understanding the world we live in and why it's not the one we would really love to live in.